Hi, so in this video we are going to find the sum of arithmetical progression, right? So as we have seen in our earlier videos that any arithmetic progression can be written as A where A is the first term and the second term will be written as A plus D where this D is the common difference, right? And A is the first term and the third term will be written as second term plus D that will be A plus 2D right and fourth term will be a plus 3d and this will continue till nth term which will be a plus n minus 1d right and n minus first term will be a plus n minus 2d right so this is a series with n terms where first term is a and the last term is a plus n minus 1 d right so one way of writing this series is this another way where if I write this last term as L this series can be written as a a plus d a plus 2 d a plus 3 d and this will be last term and this term can be written as last term minus d right yes in the last video we have found the formula to find the last term where I have written this term as the nth term right and since this series has only n terms this last term can be called as L right can be denoted as L also which represent the last term okay And what we have to do now? Yes, we are planning to find the sum of the series. So if I write S as the sum of this series, it can be written as S equal to A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus A plus 3D plus L minus D plus L last term and its previous term so this will be the sum of this series right and if I write this series in opposite order nothing is going to change the sum is going to remain same and only the order of the term is going to change that means if I write in opposite order I have to write this L first over here then I have to write this L minus D right and its previous term will be will come over here and that will be L minus 2D right and L minus 2D's previous term will be L minus 3D this will be the series in descending order right and this will continue till the last term will become the first term which is A and the last but one term will be A plus D right and what is this this will also be equal to s because we haven't changed anything we have just changed the order of writing isn't it so this will also become s and let me call it as equation number one and this as equation number two right and if I add both the equations left side will become s plus s that is 2s this will be equal to if I group these term these are the first terms of two series these are the second terms right these are the third terms of the series and these are the fourth terms of the series and these are the second last terms of the series and these are the last terms of the series now one magic is going to happen over here what is going to happen is if I add these groups some of these groups are going to be same what is the first group first group is a plus l if I add the first group I'll get a plus l right and if I add the second group again I'm going to get a plus l right this plus d and minus d will get cancelled and we will get a plus l from here right and similarly from the third terms or the third group of terms again we are going to get a plus l plus 2d and minus 2d will get cancelled right and from here also I'll get a plus l 
but I am not writing that. And if I talk about these last terms, here also we are getting A plus L and A plus L. Right? So how many total A plus L do we have? Yes, originally we had N terms in the series. So by flipping also we are going to get N terms and then we are adding two two terms each. So I'll get total N A plus L. So 2S is equal to N multiplied by A plus L. Or you can say S is equal to N multiplied by A plus L by 2. Right? So this is the one formula to find the sum of arithmetic progression. But here we can substitute this L by this last term. By doing that, we'll get another formula. So this can be written as N multiplied by A and L can be written as A plus N minus 1 D. So this will be A plus N minus 1 D. Right? Let me convert this also into square brackets. And then we have 2 in denominator. So this will become N multiplied by A plus A is 2 A plus n minus 1 d divided by 2. So these are the two formulas of finding sum. Let me write them properly. The first formula is s equal to n multiplied by a plus l by 2 and the second formula is s equal to n multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d divided by 2. So this is one method of finding the sum of an arithmetic progression.